Special counsel John Durham filing claims on Friday that the Clinton campaign paid to infiltrate Donald Trump's servers while he was president and when he was a candidate trying to find ties linking him to Russia. The new revelations contradict years of media reporting, but still media outlets aren't covering it. ABC, NBC, NBC had Super Bowl and um, Olympics coverage. CBS and MSNBC all silent this weekend, while CNN gave a report just two and a half minutes of coverage. Here's reaction, former Georgia Congressman Doug Collins. And, and uh, Congressman, the New York Times, I saw one of their, uh, I think it was a reporter or a columnist said, you know what, uh, Durham is trending, but this is old news. This is not <laughs> old news. No, it's not old news. The mainstream media, you know, we just had Valentine's Day. You know, you know it's like when you, you've done something wrong, you're like you forgot to buy flowers or you forgot, you're trying to make up. <laughs> yeah, right. The mainstream media is trying to forget this episode ever happened because they were so wrong and they just bought the line, you know, so badly. You know, again, going back, whenever anybody would say we would bring it up, they kept denying it. All oh, this didn't happen. Either. And the truth of the matter is every time John Durham puts something out, it proves President Trump, it proves those of us in Congress who were fighting to, to expose this, uh, that we were right. And and Jake Sullivan is it's interesting. Jake Sullivan, who is peddling this lie the most with the Clinton campaign, is now in the middle of another rush issue, except it has to deal with the Ukraine. That should make everybody pause. Well, he here's the thing, Congressman. You know, uh, we now know that for years, uh, the story has been out there where the Clinton campaign paid to essentially write this narrative that Donald Trump pictured right there was in bed with the Russians. Uh, yep. and, and so, and they shopped it around to media outlets who bought it hook, line, and sinker, to the FBI, to the CIA. That's how Mr. Sussman is in trouble. But ultimately, you know, it's got to be bigger than just a lawyer for the Hillary yes. campaign. It's got to be who? It's got to be consultants who came up with the idea. It's got to be people close to the candidate. Would it be the candidate? I mean, there are a lot of blanks we need filling in. There's a lot of blanks, and I think that's the bit you just hit on the perfect uh, reason that this investigation needs to continue, and we need more answers from it. This was just not a lawyer who was doing this on the side. This was groups that, that concertedly said, number one, we've got a terrible candidate, Hillary Clinton. We're not going to beat Donald Trump. We've got to tie him to Russia somehow and progress this narrative. But what disturbs me even more, Steve, though, is, is this kind of wiretapping, this kind of hacking is not something that would go unnoticed. So my question is, is you know, why was there silence? Why is there uh, silence in the mainstream media? But also, are they also covering up for the fact that the intelligence community, DOJ, Comey, Strzok, Page, Orr, Clapper, Brennan, all of these who were complicit, did they know about it? If they knew about it, they kept it quiet. This is much bigger, and these questions need to be answered because we do not need a government working against us as we, I think we saw during that time. We were bringing this out. It's yeah. now time to put the real players to test. Oh, I think I've got one of the answers for you regarding what you just said, and that is the former DNI head, uh, John Radcliffe, said yesterday, he said that apparently CIA Director John Brennan briefed Barack Obama and Joe yep. Biden, the FBI, the CIA obviously know about it, about how Hillary <laughs> had a plan to falsely accuse and vilify Trump with a scandal, and the discussion was whether or not it was good intel. So, you know, yesterday, uh, the press, the deputy press secretary dodged the question, but nonetheless, <laughs> her boss, Joe Biden, was briefed on this uh, back when Barack Obama was president. We brought this up so many times. And again, it was amazing. When I was on the Hill and we were bringing this kind of information up, I had reporters literally look at me and say, you know, roll their eyes and say, oh, you're just, you know, you're just, you know, bringing up stuff that didn't exist. It did exist. And the concerning part there with that briefing, which we've known about, we now know sort of possibly where this uh, information was coming from, which ties the government directly to possibly this Hillary Clinton campaign, even more so into the question of were they providing help? Were they providing aid? Were they actually involved? Yep. And they were just turning their head to keep away from it. So I think mean, this is a, an issue that imagine if the reverse world was flipped sure. and this was the Republican Democrat. This would you wouldn't hear the end of it. It would be unfettered coverage. He's a former congressman, now a podcaster. Uh, Doug, what's your <laughs> podcast? The Doug Collins podcast. Get it anywhere you get your podcast. All right. Good enough. People are going to check that out. Sir, thank you very much for joining us today from Georgia. Steve's always good to be with you. Take care. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.